The mission of CCA is dedicated to uh, using policy as a leverage to address an urgent American problem, which is increasing college completion, in particular um, minoritized students, Black, Latinx, and indigenous populations, as well as low-income students. And um, Complete College America, particularly now under the leadership of Yolanda, is actually addressing these issues. And so when I think about what it means for America to become first in the world again, we're gonna to have to make sure that more of our uh, citizens have baccalaureate degrees. And so when we talk about Complete College America, we really believe that this is a national imperative, not just something that's an individual benefit, it's a public good. Complete College America is an organization, but it's also a movement. You know, it's a number of individuals and institutions and most importantly states that are working together to make sure that we get more students through college with a credential of purpose and value. I continue to learn and become excited about the fact that there is this community, this tribe of individuals who are not going to quit. Collaboration is key to this movement because when we can share ideas that work, where we have data to back it up, it's easier to bring along your own institution, your own state, your own communities. CCA attracts, frankly, true believers, people who are committed to this cause of improving completion rates for all students. If we want to reinvent higher education and institutions to better serve today's students, we first have to understand who those students are. One of the game changer initiatives that I benefited from has been academic roadmap with proactive advising. I've been able to meet with my dean and have exposure, advising, and representation within the curriculum to then make it to the finish line. In order for us to make education as accessible and equitable as possible, you have to hear all these different perspectives. So it's just really important to make sure that those voices are heard so that we can workshop ideas and come up with solutions to make sure that every student is able to complete college if they're interested in doing so. Kale focuses predominantly on the returning adult, and so when I became president of Kale a year and a half ago, I. Uh, reached out to CCA leadership and I said, hey, I think there's a lot that we could do together to amplify our work around uh, returning adult students. And so what I'm hoping that we will get out of it is um, being able to do thought leadership together. There are, there's a lot of information and data that we need to get out into the country about adult learners. Um, they're really the new normal. First piece of work that CCA and Kale are doing together is here at the CCA conference. It's really critical in kind of how we rethink how um, education, higher education and training programs that lead to meaningful work can kind of fit around adulting instead of adults having to fit around the system. CCA understands the interface between work and education and that's something that I've committed my life to. We've got to get students who are willing to work hard, do well, pursue their dream at whatever level, however they can. Everybody, I believe, in the U.S. has potential. They may get to this level or this level, but that potential is what CCA is about. So CCA has always had equity um, as a bedrock of its uh, work, but I would really want to make sure that equity is at the center of the work that we're doing at CCA so that our resources, whether human or fiscal or otherwise, are really deployed toward the students that need it the most. 